Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on PHP interview questions on IntelliPart. Do you know friends that PHP development is one of the most popular programming languages. Because of its open source tools and fast running speed, it is kind of a popular choice in almost every IT developmental area. PHP is a technology that many large IT firms and multinationals are also interested in. So aspiring Indian developers should not overlook it. Companies such as HCL, Wipro, TCS, Accenture and Cognizant are among them. Before we discuss our interview questions, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. And also watch this video till the end to know how the interview questions are asked on PHP. So let's start with our first question. What is PHP? PHP is an abbreviation for Hypertext Preprocessor. It is a server-side scripting language that is open source and widely used in web development. Many databases are supported including MySQL, Oracle Seabase, Solid, PostgreSQL and Generic ODBC. Now let's discuss the second question. It says what exactly is Peer in PHP? Peer is a PHP framework and a repository that contains reusable PHP components. Peer is basically an acronym that stands for PHP Extension and Application Repository. It includes a wide range of PHP code snippets and libraries. Now let's discuss the third question. This question is kind of basic but also very interesting to answer. So it says explain the difference between static and a dynamic website. So let me explain you. First, we are going to use the definition as a parameter. So basically, a static website is the one which is consistent with the content, where every user sees the same thing on every page. Whereas a dynamic website on the other hand is the one in which content is pulled in a real time, allowing it to change with the user. A dynamic website on the other hand we can say is where if we want to run any script we can change the content suppose such as images or you can say the content heading or anything. Now let's look at the next parameter. It says that a static website has a faster loading page. Basically a static page design prioritizes the loading speed thus resulting in a better browsing experience because this type of site's content is pre-written and delivered directly from the server. Caching is easier and the content is less likely to load with the delays or UX issues such as broken images. The next parameter of the dynamic website it says that it is easily updated which means that suppose you are starting a business or building a brand online which necessitates the constant updating of the content. So you must keep up with the trends, updates and also changes in your businesses as well as in your industry. The most effective method is to use a dynamic website. Now the third parameter says that static websites can be quickly created. Which means that when time is of essence, a static website is easier to launch. Static websites are easier to create and publish because they are less complex do not need it to be linked to organized content databases. Next, if I talk about the dynamic website, it says that it is for a better user experience. A dynamic website offers content that is tailored to the user's need. This could include displaying information on the page based on their location as well as changing content to reflect their interests, intent or previous actions on the page. The next parameter says that static websites have a potential for enhanced security which means that static website pages in theory are more difficult to hack. This is due to the fact that there are fewer points from which to attack them. Let me explain. Static pages do not connect to a database or use external extensions or plugins which are all common entry points for the attack. Dynamic sites are not inherently unsafe but potential attackers should be less concerned with a static website. The next difference if I talk about a dynamic website on the parameter, it says that 
it has a greater functionality which means that static pages can be interactive but dynamic pages clearly outperform static pages in terms of functionality dynamic pages have limitless functionality they are only limited by the complexity of the logic and language required to build them as well as the instructions required to deliver the content for example if i talk about netflix it is one just example of a massive complex and a sophisticated dynamic website in terms of functionality and user experience it can deliver massive amounts of content to the users based on their location and login credentials and it can also provide watch recommendations based on the previous viewing history the last parameter if i talk about the static website it says that it is less efficiently managed static websites are easier to create but they require more time to manage edits to a static websites must be made page by page which becomes a much more difficult and a lengthy task and in some cases nearly impossible and if i talk about the dynamic website it says that it takes more resources to create a dynamic website can be much more difficult to set up and launch due to the additional steps required to organize and connect to your database to the appropriate pages it will take longer to go live and maybe more expensive as well so i can conclude something like this that after running the script the content on the static websites cannot be changed nothing on the site can be changed it is kind of predetermined but on the other hand if i talk about the dynamic websites the script content can be changed at the run time its content is regenerated each time a user visits or reloads the page examples are like google yahoo and any other search engines are the examples of the dynamic websites now let's look at the next question it says that what is exactly a php session basically in php a session is a way to store information that will be used across multiple pages of a website unlike cookies the information is not saved on the user's computer the session will create a file in the temporary directory on the server to store the registered session variables and their values during that visit the information will be available to all pages on the site when you work with an application you open it and do some modifications and then you close it this is much like a session the computer knows who you are it knows when the application is started and ended by you but on the internet the web server does not know who you are and what you do because the http address doesn't maintain a state this problem is solved using a session variable by storing users information to be used across multiple pages for example like your username or favorite color and by default the session variables will last until the user closes the browser so session variables holds single user informations and are available to all pages in one application the next question is what is the difference between dollar message and double dollar message variable so the main distinction between a dollar message variable and double dollar message variables are as follows the single dollar message variable is kind of an ordinary variable whereas double dollar message is a variable that serves as a reference it has a unique name and stores a unique value the next difference if i talk about the data in a dollar message is kind of fixed whereas the value of the variable changes the value of the double dollar message can be changed dynamically so this is a major difference between a single dollar message variable and a double dollar message variable now let's look at the next question it says that what is the difference between echo and print so for example if i talk about echo echo can output one or more strings but print has a single output and always returns one echo is kind of faster than the print because it returns no value print takes longer than the echo so if you want to pass more than one parameter on the echo you can use the parenthesis whereas in the print the argument list does not require the use of parenthesis now let's discuss the seventh question 
it says that tell me some drawbacks about PHP. The disadvantages of PHP can be as follows. PHP is not appropriate for a large content based web applications. It is not secure because it is kind of open source because ASCII to text files are widely accessible. And also PHP does not permit changes or modifications to the core behavior of online applications. The use of more PHP framework and tool feature will also result in poor performance of the online applications. PHP also has a poor error handling quality. PHP lacks the debugging tools required to look for the warnings and the errors. In comparison to the other programming languages, it has few debugging tools. Now let's discuss the question number 8. It says that what is a parser in PHP? A PHP parser is a software that converts a source code into computer readable code. This means that a parser converts whatever set of instructions we provide in the form of a PHP code into a machine readable format. PHP's token get all function can be used to the PHP code for the parsing. Now let's discuss the ninth question. It says that how can PHP and HTML interact? PHP scripts have ability to generate HTML and data can be passed from HTML to PHP. PHP is a server side programming language whereas HTML is a client side programming language. So PHP runs on the server and returns the results as strings, objects and arrays which we then use to display in HTML. This interaction bridges the gap by utilizing the best of both languages. Now let's look at to our last question. So let's discuss our final question which says that what is the commonly used method in PHP for hashing password? The crypt function is used for this functionality. It supports a wide range of hashing algorithms. These algorithms which are designed to be very fast and efficient include SHA-1, SHA-256 and MD5. That was all for this session. I hope so you would have enjoyed today's session on the PHP interview questions. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath has a PHP and MySQL certification training program where you can learn all the important concepts from industry experts and gain real world exposure to these technologies.